Baldur's Gate 3's Patch 7 just dropped on consoles, and I'm going to be going over all of the mods that are available to console users on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, and talk about them, because I've tried every single one of the 69 nice mods that are now available on console. So, there's a lot of great ones here, and this is really great, because it makes me believe that we're going to get a lot of new things on PlayStation that people are saying we're not going to get on PlayStation. So, I also have this cool tab now on my mod manager the admin tab for available on mac and console this is really nice because this just gives us at a glance all the mods now i have used every single one of them i have uninstalled some of them because i do have script extenders and things that allow me to get things like the adjustable party limit but i'll talk about my favorites here going over each and every one of them so imp ui you do need this for a lot of mods so this is probably going to be one of the most downloaded with almost 800,000 <laughs> downloads already uh, a lot of mods require this to be able to put different icons and things on the screen so you're going to likely want to grab that for most of these mods. Now, another one that's really popular, I think most people are most excited for this, the adjustable party limit mod. So this was previously available if you could uncap your party limit. Uh, but now this has a spell that allows you to uncap the party limit. You can increase it using the dial here and then set your party limit to whatever you want up to 16. So that's obviously amazing. They're also working on a tactician enhanced mod, which will be coming out. Uh, this is the first week of October here, so very exciting because that's going to help balance out the game a bit further. So just to help out, because if you have 16 players, obviously you're going to steamroll some of the encounters. But uh, yeah, this is huge. And it also has some idea uh, has some things on how to prevent in-game bugs and whatnot. So there's a couple moments like the Act 1 boat when you go into the Grim Forge that could cause issues where you need to have only four players in your party. But that's a whole other point. It's in the mod itself. Another one's pretty popular, the Hair Unlocked. This allows you to use, I have a different version of this mod, but you can use any character's hair, and uh, it's really nice. I may just download this one again because I have another version, but it's just so nice. You can use like Oren's hair, you can use Halson's hair there, you got Shadowheart's hair, you got Saza's hair. Um, there's so many ones that just don't get used in the game, so it's nice to be able to have access to all of them and apply them to literally whatever character you want. If you want Asterian's hair on your character, go nuts, it's available. Another mod I really enjoy is the Faerun Colors. As you can see here, it can make some really nice looking appearances on your character's outfits. So, I use this in every single video now because the outfit combinations are incredible. In combination with a lot of the mods here that add a bunch of different appearances too. Like, these look really nice. And uh, I'm a huge fan of Faerun Colors. There's a few other die mods, but this one is probably the best. Unlock Level Curve. I know a lot of people were asking for this one. The ability to go up to, to level 20 multi-classing and uh, some classes do have the ability to use this like it also supports the 5e spells so some mods will add some extra spells and yeah this one's great because you can multi-class you can do like some classes like the mystic which we'll get to in a minute have abilities at level 14 so that's one thing to keep in mind k's hair mod gives a bunch of different k hairs but made by person dipity they did a great job with this one they also did another hair mod but super huge uh, giving a bunch of hairs. I really like this one here in particular works well with the different colored hairs that you can get um, And then Kay's hair extensions in on top of that you can add these different pieces of hair to all your characters So I've talked about hair a bunch in the past. This is just great Weightless gold because gold is annoying when it weighs a bunch especially if you're rich in Baldur's Gate tree, so um, But I want to talk about the mystic class. This is a class that blew my mind I've talked about it in previous videos. I've done some builds on it there's six classes or six subclasses and then you can get nine subclasses with the mystic expanded and i highly recommend doing that because there's just so much going on with it uh you can see here unique icons and this is what i was talking about for playstation 5 users these are not in-game assets so this makes me believe that a lot of playstation 5 players are going to get mods they may not have even considered getting so we got a lot of free freedom of choice here there's like hundreds of spells in this class it's incredible it has features up to level 14, as you can see there. So, yeah, this mod, my favorite class mod. It just adds so much to the game, and uh, it's a lot of fun as well. From the Unearthed Arcana to Baldur's Gate 3. Contains features all the way up to level 20, so if you got that previous mod, go nuts with it. You'll have a bunch of fun. Better Inventory UI being a nice mod as well, because it at a glance, you can see the ones with a black background are your selling items. So, uh, you can just better store your inventory. I recommend any mod by Cates. They did a great job with making these very, um, very nice mods that just improve the UI, make things a little bit easier to play around with. Double XP, enough said for double. If you have level 20 mods, it helps a lot. Diamond dice, it looks nice. If you haven't gotten yourself the gold dice from Honor Mode, you can go with the diamond dice. Medusa hair. This one is another nice hair mod with a bunch of options. So. 
You can really do a whole lot with it. I have a bunch of other hair mods that I'm using, so I don't use this one as much, but I have tried it out and I like it. They got some great options. Weightless consumables, another quality of life change here. Um, I just like the mod that removes carry, or the carry weight extra. Take this one, you won't have to take the other mods because you have basically infinite carry weight. So this is super useful because there's a lot of items that you're gonna be carrying around in Baldur's Gate 3. Getting this just takes that away from it. So um, inspiration's uncapped. You can only get four inspiration. Now you can get all the inspiration. So no more wasting it, which is always annoying when I did. Uh, visible shield enough said you can see your shield it does have some glitches in certain cutscenes, so just be mindful of that but overall i think this mod's nice i wish there was a toggle to turn off the shield but hey beggars can't be choosers this is a great mod we also got ourselves normal half a lithid i know a lot of people love that because eh, who wants to look like that not i said the j but uh, yeah there's also normal volo's eye and normal hag eye too so you got a few different options there uh, we also have better target information which uh, i love this mod it allows you to see at a glance what type of enemies are weak and strong to certain damage types. You can better better choose damage types that's not going to get resisted. It makes it almost feel like Persona 5. Do you see the damage types that are weak to while you're fighting them? And I love that. So, Secret Scrolls. Now, this gives the ability to take the... There's no scrolls that have shield on it or flame strike, things like that. So, this just adds it to the game so that you can now learn these as a wizard. Or if you take a wizard dip, you can add all these into the class. So, I think this mod's awesome because... There's a lot of scrolls that just weren't, and it has a whole list of them here, so you can see there's actually a lot of there's a lot of spells that just didn't get any type of scroll in the game. So, uh, yeah, now that's no longer a problem. You can get every single one of them, and it has, like, the finger of death and power word kill. So, uh, very cool, very well done mod. Containers expand extended, I've talked about this one before. It does have some issues. There is a mod that helps fix this, but I don't think it's on console just yet. So, uh, if you use this mod, it works, let me know. But overall, I found that this hasn't worked for me personally. And it hasn't been updated since uh, July. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens there. NPC skin, hair, and eye colors. This gives you the option to choose different NPCs options. So, if you want Will's hair, if you want Gale's hair, um, you get a bunch of different eye choices. I really like this because you can take... Um, like, if you want Damon's eyes, he has very light blue eyes. You can take those. It also has a bunch of different uh, skin colors and things like that. So, great choices. My favorite die here, the Underdark die. There's so many more die options. Like, we even got the Dark Urge die here. Uh, Path of Nightmares. So, lots of choices. New loading screens. Love this. This has 60 art book scenes. There's 80 total mods. Um, or 80 total different ones. This has all the official artwork from the game. There's some that I really like. This, this is the Baldur's Gate City here. I think this mod looks great because you actually feel like you're there in this game. Um, and then there's some other ones that look really nice too. Um, this doesn't do it justice. Honestly, I love the, the different backgrounds. Especially if you've played Baldur's Gate 3 for hundreds of hours, you've seen many of the basic guns <laughs> multiple times. So um, Next, we got ourselves Underwear of Rituals. What's nice about this is you get all your ritual spells in your undies. Um, so you get Speak of the Dead, Speak of the Animals, Detect Self. Or detect thoughts as disguise self and you can just cast these at will saving you from preparing them as a wizard that's really nice we also got ourselves the celestial warlock which is a really fun class that focuses on radiant damage and healing and uh yeah i highly recommend this one because you get things like sacred light and um light as cantrips it's just a fun one and npc hair so this is similar i already talked about this one i have different hair mod um npc outfit and expired dyes so this gives you a bunch of free dyes by, made by Padme 4000. They also make a lot of really great mods that just give you some colors. I do think the other die mods works a little bit better, but uh, it's nice to get some uh, changes to the dies that you get in the game. So that's all there. We also got ourselves the Mystic Expansion, which I touched on. Gives a bunch of subclasses that you just previously wouldn't get. So up to nine subclasses. Tons of spells in this. <laughs> it's crazy. Better top bar changes how the top bar appears. It shows things at a glance, too, and it's just a little bit more tight so that you can fit more enemies onto that. I really like it. Paladins have gods. Just makes sense. Paladins should have, you know, deity to select. It gives you the gives you the unique dialogue options as well, which is nice. Better dying doesn't use up dyes when you die. So whenever you use a whenever you're using things to dye your clothing, you're fine. Better context menus. So this just opens up, as, as I said, anything by Kate's. If you see this text, it's good. Better containers, better tool tips, clear map, etc. P4 horn, makeup, and lip colors. This gives a bunch of extra colors for uh, modding. I think it's nice. I've, I've used it in the past. I have a bunch of different ones. The P4 eye colors as well, giving you things like the, the Damon's light blue eyes there. Um, this one's incredible. Some very strong colored eyes. Love it. 
playable Kuatoa. This opens the floodgates. There's things like Asimir Race being added soon. Um, there's the Owlin, which I've covered in a previous video talking about all the different race mods. There's a bunch that are just incredible, so love that. We also have the Iridescent Pearl die. Looks nice. Um, and there's a lot of die mods, trust me. There's a lot. There's a lot coming, and there's a lot more coming. Fireproof Kyrlock just makes sense. She's fireproof, so she can uh, just resist fire damage. She has full immunity to it now. Bag of Olding. You can also just go with uh, the item that reduces your uh, the amount of... Or it gives you more carry, ammu carry ammunition. Gives you more carry space. We have Gale's Beard Fix here. Fixing the clipping issues. I wish I could fix my clipping issues in real life. But uh, yeah, shouts out to Gale getting his beard fixed. Origin Dialogue Tags is a really nice one because it gives you the option as you play as a, like if you play as Gale, you can see the ones that are unique to your Origin character itself. So that's really nice because you may not think that some of these are dialogue options if you play as a certain character. So love this mod just for the, uh, just for the ability to see what you're saying as an Origin class. One D&D spell list edition, so this just adds more spells to different characters. So you can see here, Bard gets things like Command, which they previously didn't get. Um, this can be a little bit game-breaking, but it's nice. Um, by game-breaking, I mean it just gives you a different choice for certain spells, and the full list is in the mod itself there. And uh, I think this last page, mostly di different dies and Cades mods. Uh, so you can see there, Stained Glass dies, Salune, Fireball, but Dragon Scales. This gives a bunch of different colors. They look cool. Um, especially if you like playing as Dragonborn. This is for you guys. There's a lot of Dragonborn mods coming to console, by the way. So, this isn't a full reflection of every mod that's in the game. Uh, there's obviously a lot more coming. So, if you look at the top trending mods, there's things like the Blood Mage. There's, um, oh, there's a ton of class mods. I'll tell you that much for free. Um, there's Arcane Vanguard, Spellblade, Succubin Sorcerer, Mystic, uh, I guess Artificer. Artificer, so that's coming. The witch is coming soon. Um, yeah, love these mods. Many more coming. So I just want to touch on all the mods that are available now on console, PlayStation 5, Xbox, and uh, Mac. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them as well because I've been covering mods for a long time now. And uh, yeah, I got a pretty good feel for them. So thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button below, and I'll see y'all in the next video.